project, as you see, is now starting. Now, this may not be the vision that the board and supporters and patrons of the library envisioned over the last four years, but it is a great step forward onto a project that is doable and affordable. I think that's the important thing. As you can see, the roofing now going on, which is a great step. It is our intent that the library will stay open during this phase of the project. Uh, I don't think we'll have much interruption of any services. The uh, next phases of the project will be a different story. When we go with that, we will have to do a temporary location of the library. And the city is in some preliminary negotiations with the Sunflower Bank that we can use that building for a temporary library when we start the next phase of the project. Uh, that will of course cause some disruptions of the library services. However, it's our intent that such things as the children's program will remain intact. Uh, if we do our negotiations and we start the next phases, uh, we will have some reduced services in, in the bank building. It is our intent to keep the children's program intact. And as you all know, that's one of our most successful and most popular programs that we have. We will also be able to teach most of our internet services, our IT guys. And uh, Becky and I and Susan did a walkthrough of the bank. And fortunately, they're pretty well connected with uh, for computers and for the internet. So we will probably be able to maintain most of our internet services. Of course, one of the most popular ones is our notary services, which we do now at the library, and so that will be able to maintain. The area that would probably suffer the most will be hardcover books, because we just simply cannot set the whole thing up on a temporary basis in that, in that building. But with that, uh, we'll still have a library, and we'll still have some of the library services when we get into the next phase. I certainly thank the group who has come forward to start this free project, and uh, Rob Brown will talk about that a little bit later. So, not to keep you all here in the cold any longer than we have to, I do welcome you all. I would beg for the library patrons and our supporters to be patient and to support this great project from the Canyon City group. So with that, Rob, why don't you go ahead. Uh, I'm Rob Brown I'm with uh, Create Canyon City, and uh, myself along with uh, the other principals, Bob Black and Dale Booty. Uh, we're uh, we'll get this thing underway for the city, so uh, welcome to Canyon City. Appreciate y'all coming out. Different type of a project. Um, it's it's really not the same thing that you've seen done before. I think we're creating our own destiny with this project. Uh, this is not something where we're going to need to rely on government. This is something where we can control this ourselves. I think we can take our resources, our God-given talents, our skills, and I think we can bring them together for a project that is, that is significant. And that's what we're doing. This is the beginning of a, of a journey that this community is going to take together. And we want to make sure that, that however you look at this project, this, this is where we're starting today, but it's, it's got much bigger, much bigger aspirations. I want to thank the volunteers. Uh, there are, everything that you see going on here has, has been uh, done with volunteers, Gloria and her people with their food, uh, Dee and all of the stuff that she's provided. And I don't want to name a bunch of names because I'll forget somebody, but let's just say that this community has come together with this event and I'm very, very proud to be a Kansas City citizen today because you can see all of the support that we have. So this is a tremendous event. I want to make sure that I thank the Canyon City uh, Library staff. Thank you to Art, uh, Art Welch, Chairman of the Museum and Library Board. Uh, without your support, we couldn't get this thing done. So thank you very much. We sincerely appreciate that. Uh, Becky Walker, um, what, what a champion. Becky is the city clerk, and she has done everything that she can possibly do uh, to, uh, to help with this project. We're doing stuff that j just hasn't been considered before. Uh, you don't do uh, government projects this way, so uh, she's had to uh, take that 
proverbial square peg and drive it right in a round hole, and without your help, we could have never, uh, never got this thing off the ground. But most importantly, thank you for the support of the community. And so I'm going to reach out hat in hand. The way that this works is we have to have volunteers, we have to have contributors, we have to have people at every level get involved. So bring your skills, bring your talents, bring your uh, passion for this city, uh, bring your checkbooks, uh, and do everything that you can possibly do to help us get this thing going. Because we're going to complete the library, we're going to do it by Thanksgiving, that's our goal. And then we're going to complete a number of projects in this community, and we're going to change the way people look at how work gets done. Uh, we're going to shine a national light on our community, because we're going to do some things that just simply haven't been done before. So I appreciate your support. We're going to be reaching out to the community, to every segment of the community, and we're developing customized contribution plans for uh, every type of business in the city, every type of organization, and we're going to continue to do that until we get this moved forward goal here guys is that we're going to keep this um, uh, the, the 1980 circa uh, edition on there but we're going to completely renovate it so it's uh, uh, brought up to current standards uh, looks and functions absolutely correctly and uh, we're going to integrate it in and make it a much nicer uh, overall uh, vision so thanks by the way to those gentlemen up there on the roof keeping those hammers swinging that's, uh, that's some beautiful music to my ears let me tell you